Welcome, everyone, uh, to the Farmcast. We're going to be talking NFL today, uh, but I will not be here by myself. Of course, I am joined by the... Kyle Pitt. Hello, hello. Along with, uh, through the power of the internet, in North Dakota, uh, here with... Doc Firmer. Yep, the doctor is on online. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to be talking NFL today. Specifically, we're going to first react to the championship games, and then we're going to move into the Super Bowl and hit you with some hot takes um, and go from there. So got let's the, just... Got some bets, got some props. So yeah, yeah. Got a lot of good stuff. Yep, and terrible takes. Can't have... An, can't have uh, enough of those uh so let's just get started with the afc championship uh chiefs versus titans um i'm gonna have you start this one kyle because pat mahomes is your boy uh Uh, so what'd you think um it was uh it was a great moment for me good moment for uh for the pat mahomes fandom brand yep uh pat mahomes once again proved that he is the big swinging dick in the quarterback world um by far the best quarterback in the afc um always was Mm -hmm. always has been um better than tom brady but that's another discussion um yep. once again he dropped his cock on the table and he absolutely decimated what was at that time the hottest team in the nfl yeah yeah exactly uh, is is anybody else getting like 2010 aaron Rodgers vibes from pat mahomes like it doesn't matter what defenses do to him he is just he's fucking them up. Torching i have him. literally been getting that yeah. vibe for yeah for a while i mean the dude is literally just like uh, modern Brett Favre, I absolutely. How can you not love him? He is so in a league of his own, and they haven't even gotten off to good starts yet. It, it's it's fucking insane. This team is a blast to watch. Um, I, I I do wish I could have seen a little more. I was loving Derek Henry fucking people up. A little disappointing that that comes to an end. But a Super Bowl with Pat Mahomes is gonna be fun as hell. It is up. Let's talk about that, right? Yeah. Derrick Henry had, what, I think, like 65 yards in the first half or something like that. I mean, <laughs> it was crazy. he wasn't torching the defense by any means, but... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> 65 two times? They gave him the ball two times in the second that's half? That's it? What the fuck's up with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, th- th- that's fair. Um, I think by the second half, though, they were kind of trailing more. Yeah. Um, I, 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 so I, let's give the ball to Ryan Tannehill let's get, instead yeah, of Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill. <laughs> I mean, but they're just a weird team. How many times have you seen Derrick Henry? How many times this season have we seen Derrick Henry break off a 60-yard run? No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. A couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. we've seen it. What the fuck? Um, I don't know. It, honestly, it comes down to the fact that the, the Chiefs are just too good. Specifically, offensively, they are just... And that's that's... The Super Bowl for the Titans was getting to the AFC Championship. They should be so happy about that. It's wild. It is so, and good for them. I'm happy. I think that's awesome. Uh, I also think the story of Ryan Tannehill reviving his career is very cool. I still think he's ass. Um, oh, he's terrible. Yeah, he's and he's gonna bad. get paid. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's so very much bad. Always, yeah, he will. He's gonna be a rich man. Same with uh, Derrick Henry, but um. Rightfully so. Right. Hey, yeah. Derek Henry will take it's that one of those, five million a year right to the bank. Yeah, it's one of those things where they said <laughs> uh, they. It's like on contract years like that when you're you're playing for your money, you do that kind of shit. And he did. He deserves it all because he he put up with it. He led them to the AFC I, Championship. I game. I am I have repented um, already. I am a uh, converted Derek Henry hater. I have. Uh, Yep. I, I, I was banging the drum time. that he was big ass yep. for uh, for a while, but now um, he just decided to use his big ass and yep. run for about 3,000 yards against every single team. So you know what? I'm here for it. I, 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 I can't wait to see him next year. You know, yeah. Prop. I mean, I don't know how you stop the man. So. Yeah, and you weren't alone. We both thought he was big ass. No, he um, I was I've been a Derek Derek Henry stand for. Like, I have you beat not. Tom Brady. That's, <laughs> that, hey. Yeah, I I have all the respect for him. I had no respect <laughs> going into the season. Um, I had no respect for him, but I can't um, wait to not have any respect for him going. You know what? Fuck it. I might run it back <laughs> 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 now that now that you say it. Fuck it. Um, we'll see how I feel in but, a couple months. But yeah, but uh, as far as uh, today, uh, yeah, big Derek Henry guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, any other thoughts from the AFC? championship game just going back to like the chiefs offense it honestly they seem like a cheat code in a fucking video game 
They are. They can they score play. so goddamn it's crazy. fast. Literally, you take the best quarterback in the NFL right now, and he just... Tyreek Hill, you, you know, he is so fucking fast. Let me tell you what helps uh, scoring fast, having the fastest player in the NFL, yep. and then also maybe having the second fastest player in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's no kidding. And I actually, I was going to say, oh yeah, Travis Kelsey. But yeah, they literally just are so, it's about speed now. I'm going to be bringing up uh, a lot more Miko Hardman yeah. a little bit later because uh, I think that dude might be the X factor in the Super Bowl. You you always do see something like that a yeah. breakout player mm-hmm. just put his name I, and he's hey, been such a good rookie I, already. Yeah, I think I think it might be time. It it might be. Um, yeah, the Chiefs have just been. It's been a blast watching. I, them. I think uh, another thing too, uh, going back and this is you know it doesn't get us go for last game. It goes for uh, for the divisional round as well. Damian Williams once again remembered. Oh, it's playoff time and is once again just going fucking beast mode and <laughs> yeah. doing what he does. He just turns it on Fenner's favorite player he was a great draft pick right oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. favorite player yeah <laughs> yeah i think he was my second round draft pick this One year great. he was terrible yeah, in the regular no. season he was uh playoff time yeah it's play yeah playoff time you gotta gotta play uh, put yeah. up um but yeah i'm happy for andy reed very happy for andy reed um andy reed and miami is a combo we deserve yes oh yeah um did you hear what he did after the game what that uh mean? someone asked him uh they were like so what'd you do after uh you know going to the super bowl he literally said he had a cheeseburger and went to bed <laughs> <laughs> there isn't anything more on brand with that i love it <laughs> yeah, yeah i remember uh, my favorite uh one of my, one of the best onion articles <laughs> that i have ever seen in my life was uh it was from when I think Andy Reid just took over uh, for the Chiefs, and they were I think they had when they had the number one overall pick, and they took Eric Fisher. There was an, <laughs> there was a headline that came out like two weeks before the draft. It just says Andy Reid trades number one overall pick for last bite of bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh. this is uh, the redemption we all we all deserve to see. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I I really do think I I thought going into the playoffs that the Ravens were the best team in the AFC, um, but oh, I mean, actually, they, I'll, I'll take this time. I'm gonna interrupt yeah. you because I'm gonna take this time to uh, to flex real quick. Um, I said since the beginning of the playoffs, Ravens are a fraud team, and that the Chiefs would be in the Super Bowl. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take my time to really. To, oh yeah, take my victory lap. I thought it was gonna be the Chiefs beating them in the AFC Championship, but hey, it all worked out. I'm see. I didn't think that. I thought the Ravens were going into playoffs. I'm like, who's on their level? Momentum, energy, talent, just such yeah. a well-rounded and well-coached team. That I just, I, I thought, I, I was really shocked. Um, when home game, Baltimore. You know, I really thought they were just gonna take the wind out of the sails of the tit- Titans. I thought they were the best team going in, and I was really looking forward to Ravens, Lamar versus Pat Mahomes. Um, but, you know, Pat Mahomes is, he, he just has been so good. Pretty he good. deserves this. Uh, so I'm happy to see them, but I, did, I thought they were still behind the Ravens, but they do deserve it completely to be in the Super Bowl. I, I think they are the best team, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, any last thoughts before we head into the NFC? All right. Um, so NFC, we're some Packer fans. It kind of sucks. But the 49ers are so solid. Fenner, how about you kick it off for this one? Uh, thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take over the first half because that's when I stopped okay. watching was after yep, the yep, first that's half. Um, 27 to nothing at halftime. Disgusting. Not great. Raheem Mostert. Raheem, Raheem fucking Mostert. Mostert. Had 160 yards and three touchdowns in the first half. Jesus. I don't know. I don't know if the Packers are that bad or if Kyle Kyle Shanahan is just that good of an offensive coordinator. But either way, fuck Kyle Shanahan because that can <laughs> yep. fucking suck. Yeah. An unbiased fan. opinion. Yep. I think it's a mix of both. Uh, like what you said, Kyle Shanahan has been coach of the year. It's been crazy. Um, the fact that... Raheem Mostert, I cannot believe that, did what he did to us. I think it's a mix of, we didn't make any adjustments on defense. And what pissed me off 
or well, or on yeah. offense. But what really pissed me off is the pregame show um, when they were interviewing. It was Aaron Andrews interviewing uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. So a little tension there, but she said. What are what do you think the Packers are thinking they have to do on defense to stop you guys? And he goes, oh, probably stop the run. Well, we fucking did it. <laughs> it just pissed I me mean, off. I don't even know, <laughs> not to take anything away from uh, from Mr. Moster. I'm sure he's a nice yeah. guy, but uh, yep. I don't really know how you can give him that much credit when Derek, or uh, not Derek Henry, excuse me, not to, to besmirch his good <laughs> yeah, name, yeah, yeah. when uh, tr- the other back, uh, Trent Richardson, could have actually ran through all those holes. That's I mean, true. That's I could have ran through those holes, yeah. and I probably run about I don't know a five seven. Okay, so <laughs> gotcha. I I they had all the room in the world to run. Mm-hmm. The defense was just blown off the ball, didn't know where to be, wrong yeah. spots, and uh, it it just it wasn't competitive from the word go. Yeah, it was just it was tough to watch. Aaron Rodgers was nine of twelve in the first half for like seventy three yards or something like that. Like we just we couldn't figure it out on either end of the either end of the time of possession the didn't help half. because it was a what, terrible game. Felt like the oh, Packers yeah. had the ball for two minutes. Yep. Um, yeah. So to kind of push it, I guess, to the 49ers, a little less salty uh, conversation. 49ers are the better team. They are clear. I think they are uh, overall. Yeah. They totally deserved yes. it. I think they were the best team in the NFC. Uh, talent wise, it's just unbelievable how solid they are. Uh, Could you guys imagine? Uh, how in the how much in the run game it would help the Packers defense if they had a legitimate middle linebacker other than oh, like oh, yeah. fucking huh? Martinez? Huh? No. Wait, what? Oh, my no. God. Okay, uh, there I, was there was a, there was a report by some CBS writer that um, Blake Martinez in uh, in the locker room at halftime was like fighting back tears because of his looming free agency. Maybe worry player. about the fucking game before you worry about free agency, Blake. You turd. <laughs> So I mean, for um, people wondering, um, Al Fenner is Blake a Martinez known. Blake Martinez sucks. Yep, he's a yeah, known. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, doesn't yeah, like him. Doesn't like him. And after the game, after a heartbreaking loss in the NFC Championship game, Blake Martinez went to his locker loving the No, Packers this was at halftime, Zach. No, no, you're this wrong. was it's, at halftime. Well, it happened multiple times then. Um, he's an well, emotional man. Right. Yeah, so he broke down crying because it was a disappointing loss. And he wants to be a Packer, and Plays this was a big year. And he said, "I don't know if well, I'm." We gonna don't be. want him. he. <laughs> he clearly <laughs> cares, and I give him so, that. I, I will. I will not have this much slander on the good name of Blake Martinez. He is uh, nice. Yeah, we can. We just well, we nice. can list out his good qualities. Number yep. one, I'm sure he's well, number nice. one, he's I don't nice. give a shit yep. if he's number nice. Number two, um, he makes plays at the line of scrimmage. People forget that. Yep. Um, he makes plays eight yards down number from three, the line of scrimmage. Number That's three, uh, this, is, uh, this is big for Pack fans. Uh, he carries the G. He does carry that. the G. He carries that G. He carries it what, really well. Yeah. He, took, he took the number from uh, another Packer uh, middle inside AJ legend, A.J. Hawk. Hawk. Yep. So there's a lot of good lineage yeah. going on with Blake Martinez. He and, carries uh, the 50. Yeah. Great and uh, he's a Twitch streamer. Good Twitch streamer. Oh, so, shit. Hey, that's right. I don't yeah. understand what the, what the problem is. He's a hunter. Oh, yeah. I think. Mm. Maybe. He's a hunter. <laughs> but it's just such a weird player to hate. It's just weird, dude. Like, I mean, he plays a very important part uh, or important position on the important defense, position. and he sucks ass at it. Is it that, that important a position? Inside linebacker? Yeah, I think yeah, it is. Maybe yeah, maybe in 1985. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Bobby Wagner and Luke Keekley aren't playmakers. You're right. They Luke Keekley isn't in the league. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, you've got a point there. Um, uh, big update. I have one new Instagram follower. So. Oh, shit. Damn. So shout out to me. Yeah, lucky. Um, so yeah, 49ers, solid team. Uh, that leads us to the Super Bowl. Thank the big God. one. Niners, Chiefs, a lot of red, a lot of white. Those oh. are the colors playing. Thank you. And yeah, yes. do you guys have any initial predictions, Kyle? If you want to get us started, um, I'm uh, I'm in on the Chiefs here. Yep. Um, I think this is a real interesting Super Bowl because you're gonna have uh, everybody's strengths going up against each other. Obviously, 49ers with their young, uh, very good defense against the absolute blazing speed of uh, the Chiefs' offense, and I think it's gonna be a really interesting matchup, mm-hmm. especially when uh, you got. Such a zone-heavy scheme. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they're going to deal with uh, the speedy playmakers that the Chiefs have, and I think that might give them the edge in the end. Yep. Fenner? 
Uh, I agree. I think the Chiefs are going to win this game. I think it uh, will be fairly close in the first half, but I think the Chiefs will probably pull away with it in the second half. Okay. Um, I... Actually, um, over under, what do you think, uh, Raheem Mostert? Under or over 200 yards and three rushing touchdowns in the first half? Under. Shit. Might have to take the over. Who oh, knows? God, yeah. yeah I mean, don't hey. know. <laughs> 200 yards first half. It's That's pretty, pretty easy. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Don't Let's just yeah. stop talking yeah. about Raheem Moss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've spent, I, if you told me at the beginning of the season that I'd be spending this much time talking about this Raheem Moss. This man Monster. has lived in my brain for the last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to continue to live in my brain. Um, kind of how I'm feeling is the same way. Uh, I really. I, I love the Chiefs here. I think it's going to come down the way it always comes down to the fact that Pat Mahomes, every QB, most Hall of Famer QBs, legendary QBs, have that early career run that just sets the tone for the rest of their career. This is Pat Mahomes. It, he he's not going to not win a Super Bowl. Not Jimmy G. It's not Jimmy G. <laughs> hey, I, Jimmy I, I, G I want you to I want you to also consider this. Yeah, who has more ranks? Oh, damn. It, it makes sense. Damn. Okay, shit. Maybe oh, Jimmy Garoppolo gosh. is the more accomplished quarterback. Shit, that's actually a Just good point. Yeah. Advocate. Okay. Um, I respect that. Yeah. But uh, I think it's this has Pat Mahomes' starting legacy. The Chiefs deserve it. I hope, they are just... I hope it does mirror well, the 2010 Aaron Rodgers vibe where... Let, let Pat Mahomes get that ring. Let him get yep. all those stupid questions out of the way. Because... Yep. Uh, because people out there still love to point to rings because that's, you know, the, the sports culture we live in today. It's all about your rings. If you didn't win, why did you even play that season? So yeah. let's let Pat get that fucking win and we can just enjoy the hell out of the rest of his career. Yeah, I, I think that's I, I have I, I haven't agree. thought about that because that's always every great every really good QB. Oh, well, they haven't taken him there yet. Yeah. Do you know how many people next year, the storyline of Lamar, no playoff oh, wins, God. you are going to hear it like crazy. And I, th- I get it to some extent, but, oh, my God, the storylines. If Pat Mahomes can get it out of the way, well, it's easy. I don't know because Lamar Jackson, uh, he wasn't supposed to be tackling Derrick Henry. So, once I don't know how oh, you like yeah, yeah. that. No, yeah. But, but yet, he should have because he doesn't have any uh, wins. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, no bowl game wins either. So. Oh shit! Yeah, that's true. People forget that. It makes you think if he can play in big games. Clearly not. Um, I um I do have some stats here. Okay. I want to get your shit. guys' thoughts on them. Um, the Chiefs are one and one all time yep. in the Super Bowl. They lost their first one yep. and won their second. Who they lose the first one? Yeah. So yeah, they are statistically due. For- <laughs> Ooh, I would okay. say. They could be statistically. I don't know, due I don't know for what we're thinking win. on that. I just just wanted to point out uh, their Super Bowl loss well, uh, to the Green Bay Packers. Yep, and I also want to point out that the NFL can go fuck themselves for not rigging it for being a Super days. Bowl one rematch yeah. uh, in the hundredth year. I, th- I I want to say fuck. Could you, you imagine those takes? Oh, on they'd Twitter be everywhere. Yeah, a, a real happened. commissioner like David Stern would have made it happen. Yep. He would have helped us out a little bit more. Maybe he would have just broke or he mustered's leg or something during the first quarter, and. Uh, uh, Blake Martinez was a good middle linebacker. Maybe could have tackled him. <laughs> All right, enough enough old wounds. Yeah, um, we don't live in the past. So, you guys got any uh, props that we can talk about on the game? Oh boy, do I have props? Let's get into um, it. You want to go first, or oh should I center? Uh, I got two of them. Okay. I'll get mine out of the way early. So, uh, these are two that I'm going to be betting on. Uh, will Pat Mahomes throw an interception? Yes, is plus one ten. No, is minus one thirty. Um, I think he right. is going to throw an interception. Okay, interesting. I do. That's good odds. Yeah, yeah. He's been he's been next to perfect for like the last six weeks. Do. I think him throwing. Yeah, I mean, honestly, statistically, do okay. for an interception. But um, then the next one I have is who will have more Pat Mahomes passing touchdowns plus one forty five or Alex Ovechkin shots on goal? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? I am hammering that Pat Mahomes because okay. okay. shit for okay. the last two weeks. And are these both on Sunday? These are both on Sunday. Yeah, the the Capitals play at eleven thirty. Damn, I'll Sunday. have to keep uh, close to that. One. <laughs> hey, it might be a big NHL guy again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think of those? Uh, I don't have anything to contribute to the NHL. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't. You know, I don't know it, but I sure shit want to bet it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that now that you bring it up, <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling good about that Pat Mahomes. Uh, I actually really like that one, the Pat Mahomes yeah. interception. Uh, they picked off a seemingly in uh, interceptable Aaron Rodgers at the time. Yep. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Pat Mahomes, you know, feeling a little gunslinger mm-hmm. early in the game, trying to give the Chiefs a lead. Wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised if he tries to fit one of the scenario coverage. So if he does throw one, you think it's early on? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be early. See, do you on. guys? How do you guys see this game playing out? I know we mm-hmm. all feel good about the Chiefs. Do you think it's going to be? close for a lot of the time do you think someone's gonna pull ahead i early? actually um I pull ahead late i i don't think it's gonna be that high scoring again wow. i think it's gonna be more of a defensive battle than anything what is the over under is it like 53 um, and a half i'm not exactly sure but the way i kind of see it it's pat mahomes yeah i i really think like i think it's gonna be high scoring we've seen the 49ers will match you they will if it's a if you're going high scoring they can go high scoring if it's going to be low scoring, they can yeah. play to that too. They are so good at playing with right. their opponent that I think, I, I just think, I can't imagine a Super Bowl with Pat Mahomes and the weapons he has. I can't imagine it being a low scoring game. So I just think the 49ers are going to match that. Yeah, the over under is 54 and a half. And. <clears throat> I, I actually do think it's going to be the under, as much as it pains me to say, because the Chiefs defense, I think, is pretty underrated. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got you know guys like Chris Jones coming off, and I, I think it's going to be a, a more of a defensive battle than people are thinking. Yeah, that's um, fair. Now, I also have some player props that okay. I'd like to get to. Yeah. I'm going to start it off with uh, two big ones, because they're both revolving around uh, a guy I mentioned earlier, uh, me, Cole Hardman. Now, check this one out. Um, Miko Hardman over one and a half receptions is plus one hundred. He just has to get two. No kidding. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I I I I think that's that's too easy. Mm-hmm. He just get a couple of screen passes. Well, yeah. bubble. Yeah. Easy. Easy oh, money. Yeah. yeah. Fenner, what do you think? What? what? I don't like that at all. <laughs> I think. I mean. I I honestly think Travis Kelsey is going to be Miko yeah, Hardman can two catch two measly balls with how Pat Mahomes is going to be yeah, gunning. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but you're but you were just saying how you took the under at fifty four. He's going to be half. throwing a lot. That doesn't mean he's going to be scoring a lot of touchdowns. It's two catches. It's yeah. not it's like catches. Yeah. it's just two catches. I mean, I, it seems easy. Oh, I thought it was two touchdowns. No, no, no. no. Two this touchdowns. is two receptions plus one hundred. Oh yes, yes. Easy. That's Love almost that. a no brainer. Now let, let me hit you with another no brainer. Miko Hardman. Plus, 120 receiving yards, plus one touchdown, plus 9,000. Damn. If he gets oh, it, those odds, those ah, odds are too good to here's, pass up. Yeah. Here's, here's, my, here's my line of thinking here. Miko Hardman, if he's going to score a touchdown, yep. where's he, where he going to score from? The bomb. You think he's going to score from the 10? Yeah. The 5? No, from like his it's own 30? Exactly. Miko Hardman gonna is going to score that touchdown by either returning a kick for a touchdown or he is going to catch – an absolute hose yep. bomb from big swinging dick Pat Mahomes, yep. and it's gonna be deep, baby. Yeah, he could take a screen pass and go ninety yards. Mm-hmm. Then he just needs thirty more. If you believe in the that he will get over that one point five, I think you have to think it's a lot of yards because he's. It, I could see him getting a uh, home run, uh, 30, 40 plus yard touchdown. I, I, I. I and we kind of talked about already. We both believe that this is gonna, this could be like a big breakout game for him. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I think those are both interesting. All right. Now, next, Pat Mahomes rushing yards. If he has at least fifty-one rushing yards, plus one thirty-four. Now, Pat Mahomes, he's not necessarily known as the most mobile yeah, quarterback, yeah. but if you watched the, the uh, game against Tennessee, especially at the end of the half. He ran 27 yards, and he flew. Kind of reminded everybody, oh, wait, this Pat Mahomes guy, he can fly too. Yeah. It's, it's not yeah. fair. He's an absolute cheat code. And if the Niners are going to be bringing a ferocious pass rush, how you slow him down, take that quarterback, and you move his ass. You get okay. him going. He's that, that pocket might be collapsing very quickly. So either he's going to have to be making some quick passes or he's going to have to take off running himself. I love that at least 51 rushing yards. Okay. I think that's fair. Fenner? I don't think I'd take the over on that, but I can I can see yeah, where Yeah, it's not something from. I'm, like, crazy where if I was betting. I, I don't think I would. That doesn't attract my eye as some of the other uh, odds. But, yeah, I could see that. 
Um, All right. Nah, I just think he's so fucking talented with his arm. He he rarely has to use his okay. feet. Um, now I got I got two I got two. Oh more. yeah, more. Oh, sure. I got more. Okay, I got two more. You. We're gonna start getting a little dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Tyreek Hill has to have over 80, 80 receiving yards, and George Kittle to have over seventy five yards. That's plus one forty four. Oh, okay. Top weapons on each team. Yeah, yeah. Seems pretty easy to me. It's a yeah. Super Bowl. When else are you going to use your big weapons? And if you do think, like, it's going to be that high-scoring game, it sounds like you would want that because I think they're both going to. Yeah, George Kittle hasn't had to do much in the receiving. He hasn't done much in the receiving game this postseason just because they've been able to mm-hmm. ground and pound over everybody. You One storyline I mean? that I think uh, should be uh, talked about more, the two best tight ends in the league going against each other. I didn't see Jay Sternberger on the Chiefs. I didn't see, uh, yeah, you're right. Mark Andrews is not in the oh, game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy Graham is not <laughs> playing, you're right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, like, I, I thought that was kind of interesting. I like both George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. Um, George Kittle is a fucking monster. Good player. Uh, very good. And Travis Kelsey, do you guys see him after when they won the, they were handing out the trophy? Yeah, that, was, was, like, that was tough to watch. That was tough. <laughs> it, was, it was just kind of. I, I, I literally had to turn no, the TV, so. Uh, it was some uh, real boomer shit. Yeah, he uh, decided to uh, channel uh, his Beastie Boys yep. when uh, receiving from Jim Nance and uh, yelled, uh, you got to fight for your right to party in uh, long pauses. It, yep. it was oh, pretty excruciating. To explain that joke, if you. It's if very. Because I didn't hear you laughing, Fenner, so yeah. I'm going to explain it to you. He is quoting the Beastie Boys, no, yeah. saying that you have to fight like they did in the AFC Championship game yep. and to be Super Bowl in order to celebrate a victory and come out victorious and celebrate that win. So I, I still it's, don't see you laugh. That's but very high IQ. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was just something now, I saw. I'm like, yikes. I got one more. Oh hell yeah! And this one, this one's pretty. Di- it's a real doozy. And Better be a doozy. Let me just get it up quick. I mean, we we've we have some tame ones. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. We've everything so far has been pretty uh, tame, but I know. Oh, tame. I, know, oh, I love, 9, that. love that. Those this one doesn't have plus nine thousand like odds, that. but uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get weird. We're gonna get weird. Are we guys ready? Yep. All right. This one is a special. Wait, 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 wait. This one, this one's gonna be something I bet on, especially because I think this has a chance to be a lower scoring game. Damian Williams to have plus fifty five rushing yards, Raheem Mostert to have over eighty rushing yards, Travis Kelsey to have over seven receptions, and George Kittle to have seven plus receptions. That's plus eleven hundred. I kind of fuck with it. I know. Um. it's a there's lot a lot to break down, down. and uh, there's a lot, a and, and, there's and a let, lot me, contingent let me chop on that this bet. one up into little bite-sized pieces for <laughs> yeah. everybody. So Damian Williams, 55 rushing yards. It's easy. It's yeah, not yeah. that much. Yeah. Aaron Jones was able to really, uh, really carve up the Niners when he in his limited opportunities. It's true. Aaron Jones, uh, similar size to Damian Williams. Um, okay. So because he's a similar size, and they're both good. Yeah. I think Damian Williams easily has a chance to get over 55 rushing yards. Yeah. Raheem Mostert to get over. 80 rushing yards. The man just rushed for almost 10,000 yards and a half. Yeah. I don't think I don't think 80 rushing yards is too much to ask. No. <laughs> Travis Kelsey and George Kittle to each have seven plus receptions. You got to think. Let's say let's say we're in a game bottling up, corners doing their thing on the yep. receivers. Where do you go? You got to go to your safety valve. Yep. And yep. also who happens to be the best player on your team. Yeah. Seven receptions each. That's easy money to yep. make. I'll be hammering Going to old, old reliable up the middle. Yeah, I will be hammering this bet plus eleven hundred. Damn. Okay, Fenner, you got any uh, mm-hmm. strong opinions on that take? Uh in general, I like the bet. I just, from being part of in fantasy this year, I had Tevin Coleman and later Raheem Mostert. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, I know it's done. It it sucked, but. The only issue I have with that is the Raheem Monster 80 yards because Easy. it doesn't it didn't seem all year like it was the same running back going off every single game. Yeah, but Tevin Coleman has a dislocated elbow or mm-hmm. shoulder. One of them. It's not great. Matt Breida hasn't done anything in a and while. And when Matt Breida gets the ball, he will get five carries 
He'll go for about 25 yards, good clip, and then he will break some bone in his body and get rushed to the locker room. <laughs> After that, yep, yep. what are you going to do? Give the ball to Fair Jeff enough. Wilson Jr.? Yeah. I don't think so. You're going to uh, revive... What are you going to do? You're going to revive Jarek McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? You, Kyle Hughes, You're Jack. You're going to give it to Jimmy Jack. Garoppolo, the man who just threw six times? I don't think so. Oh, my God. Don't even bring that up again. Six times and beat the Packers by six. Do you guys, uh, I'll give you over or under um, 14 and a half passing attempts by Jimmy G. Oh, that's tough. Oh, I think it's going to be over. Damn, okay. No. Ex- <laughs> I, I, really? I, I think I it's going to have to be. They're going to have to throw the ball. If you want to keep up with Pat Mahomes. You're probably going to have to. I mean, yeah. what NFL yeah. quarterback is going to throw under 14 times? That's Yeah, that's true. Um, it, it really is. It's going to be interesting. I think this is the most interesting Super Bowl we've had in a while. Um, I knew last year's was going to be ass, so I really hope this is better. Last year's sucked, dude. Currently, Jimmy Garoppolo's uh, over-under for pass completions is 19.5, and, and that's just completions. Oh, okay. Compared oh, to shit. Pat yeah, Mahomes they really think it's 24. Which makes sense. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you guys got any uh, – that's it for props? Yeah, uh, that's all I got. Um you guys got any last uh, statements before we give final predictions? Um, I, I will say this. I, I'm i going to be heartbroken yep. if I have to see Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, God. I another, didn't even think. Hold up another trophy after throwing probably for about 18 times, watching an undrafted running back <laughs> carve the Chiefs. I, I can't do it. I can't watch it. That'll be tough. I want to see Richard Sherman with another fucking ring. Yep. I just I can't do it. I agree. But I will say this, and I didn't bring this up before, and I think this might be the most important piece of analysis. Yeah. I don't know if there's a way to stop Nick Bosa from beating Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, dude. That man wants to shake Donald Trump's hand. He might get five sacks. He might. Oh, oh my God. He might be Super Bowl MVP he if they might. win. If the, if the Niners win. Nick Bosa. He might get it if they lose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's, nothing will stop him. Even if the Chiefs win, he'll sneak on the bus just to beat, <laughs> beat Donald Trump. He he is a big, uh, big Trump supporter. Um, that's a fact I never thought about. Oh, yeah. Well, I did think about it, but Makes I forgot about it. Again. Yeah. Um, so let's go final score predictions. Uh, Kyle, if you want to get us started, um, what do you think? I will take Chiefs 24-21. Okay. Fenner? Me? I yeah. don't think there's going to be a field goal kicked in this game. I think it's going to be Chiefs 35, Good. San Francisco 49ers 28. Okay. Um, like I said, I think there's uh, – I'm I'm closer to you, Fenner. Um, I'm going to go with probably Chiefs, uh, Chiefs 30, 49ers 23. Um, I, I – I, I don't have a good, great feel about this game. I, and that's what makes it so fun, I think, is that I really don't know what, fully what to expect. I, But that's why it's going to be a lot of fun. I do think, uh, and I, last thought I want to get out here, I want to see what you guys think. Um, I, I, I wonder how this, is, this Super Bowl will affect the NFL going forward. Only because it seems like we have two different team builds here. One, the stud QB with weapons around him the other being similar to the rams last year were not as good as a qb but just such a good solid overall team with great coaching um it's going to be interesting to see which one I feel, I feel like you see this every year recently where it's been the best offense versus one of the best defenses and yeah last yeah. year it was you know it was patriots yep. rams uh it, it just seems to be and the year before was uh eagles patriots and you know good defenses obviously good offenses but i think you're you're seeing that uh clash of teams uh that do opposite things mm-hmm. and i think it'll be exciting to watch because um what in th- on paper it seems like the 49ers should win but it's hard to estimate exactly what pat mahomes can do i mean the man is unbelievable yeah no that's that's I, I completely agree. I just thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and the fact that I I got similar, um, I I do think the 49ers this year are better than the Rams last year. Um, but I I, I thought thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, that yeah. just about that just about does it. Unless you guys have any other thoughts about the game. I don't no. know. 
I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, Chiefs absolutely blow out the Niners. I just don't think that's how okay. it's going to go. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised, but don't think it's going to go that way. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> well, yep. All right. I'm just covering there you all go. my bases. Hell yeah. <laughs> I hope both teams have fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be like uh, Rob Lowe <laughs> wearing the NFL oh. jacket. <laughs> it's I'm like just, I'm just happy for everyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, that does it for our analysis. We will also have an episode next week, uh, kind of talking a little bit more about the Super Bowl, some of the fun stuff like the commercials, the halftime show, shit like that. So make sure to tune into that, uh, and also follow us on Twitter at the farmcast pod uh you can stay tuned to all of everything um everything going on there uh all news on podcasts stay up to date with episodes and see where we're going from there um yeah support uh, support the podcast we appreciate it um and yeah thanks for thanks for listening take care